Hello, so this fix for the P1381 or the P1383, which is the CAM VVT over advanced or retarded. This fix is specifically for those who have just had a timing belt change and now they're throwing up the cone. It's usually because one step has been missed while the uh, timing belt has been fitted. So we're going to assume in the video that you're at the stage where your cams are locked, you have the locking tool in your cams and the locking tool in the crank. Right, so let's get into it, we'll uh, discuss the issue. I'm going to show the cause of the P1381 over advance on the ST170 and it's, it's a pretty common issue. So, say belt's all on, I've got this flop here. Now, the VVT pulley will free float, but watch, I'll turn this now, watch the cam, it'll stay exactly still. See that turning movement there? That's because the VVT mechanism will turn. So if you just had your belt fitted like that, alright, I'll do my tensioner up. Watch now as I, I'll just pull this tensioner by hand. It's not the easiest to do this one hand. Right, ready? See the pulley tighten up? Now, if you look at my white marks there, see them they're out the sink? So if you now go tightening everything up, go running the engine, you're going to get the over, over advanced code because that's already started and it throws the engine into a fit. So I'm going to tighten all this up and I'll show you how to, how to remedy that. So obviously I have to tighten that. It has to be in that position as it is now, but I'll show you the fix for it now. Okay, so the trick is when you have the belt and everything lined up with the locking tools is you need to slacken off the pulleys for the cam pulleys. So the in this video, I'm only showing the um, the VVT and let them slacken off. But you also, just to make doubly sure, slacken off the exhaust cam pulley also, remembering that the cam locking tools and the crank locking tools must be in place while you're doing this. So tension the belt first belt has to be tension and then slacken off the the pulleys okay so the belt's tightened up i'm just now going to remove the cap here i've got a rag to catch any oil that's going to come out from in the vvt pulley so this is just uh, the oil cover cap it isn't the actual bolt for the pulley In this video as well, I undo the main cam bolts without actually using a sprocket or cam sprocket locking tool. Now, if you do this, you are at serious risk of snapping the end of the cam if you're relying only on the uh, the five mil bar that holds the ends of the cam. Don't ask me how I know you can snap it because I've done it before, but I know in this instance because I haven't long done the bolts up. They haven't had years of tension to seize on the boat. So, like I say, don't copy me. Make sure you get your cam, cam sprockets uh, held with a locking tool or some other type of grips on the, on the cam itself. You'll be warned. Okay, so by slackening that off now, We've allowed the inner VVT mechanism to self right itself. We're not going to see a change in these lines here, so we don't need to worry about that. All we worry about is the inner VVT has flipped itself to its neutral position. Now you just tighten it back up. Okay, so I've just tightened that now to the top 68 Newton meters. After that, put your cap back on and the job is done. Right, so that's it. Everything is done. And another cover by there. Now it's the moment of truth. Will it start? Will it fire? Let's give it a go. Pretty sweet. Let's go have a look. Sounds alright, that is. Sounds alright. 